Gustavo Polsa, Garrett G, representando al equipo de NRG. Dominated the North American region since their inception, but still have yet to win the title. Garrett G is the only player to attend every single world championship, you and with the addition of Justin, that scored the most big, ever seen big, talent, big, Justin big, is big, once in a generation. Skip Killa representando a Renault. Dominated. The defending world champions return to the final stage. Grand is an apt description. This is the duel of the deities. In the legendarium of the RLCS, these three names, Scrub Killer, Fairy Peak, and KDOT, a spot's reserved for all three of these players. In three seasons of the RLCS, Scrub has made the Grand Finals twice. Hit up, it's his sixth Grand Final appearance, three-time champion. This last season, will they do it again? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Grand Finals time! And be very afraid if you are NRG of that Renault Vitality kickoff. They scored so many in their previous series against the Test, purely based off that. But for NRG, it is mechanical brilliance across the board. And Ooh. they might get the first chance as Renault Vitality putting the pressure on. And not only the kickoffs you have to be afraid of, but Fairy Peak. Fairy Peak has been sniping the corners with just furious shots, especially against Dignitas. He is on fire this tournament. And it couldn't have come at a better time. His hot streak right when Vitality need him. Pass out to Kadon. He's put it back into the midfield. Teleposa has time. Just testing each other right now. Want to see if the nerves will get to him. That's a soft series where you want to start off quick. Justin looks to do that. Gets the block. Turbo moves in. One nil. Justin clearing the way. Spinning. Looking for his victims. Gets the rebound opportunity for Turbo. And Turbo with that easy cleanup. He had two hat tricks and back to back games for NRG against Space Station. And now he strikes first against Vitality. How can a play that looks that pretty be that deadly? Turbo Pulsar and the rest of NRG, though, they're going to find themselves on the defense early. Renault Vitality will want to answer back quick. Turbo slows the play down. He knows he's got to try and base someone in. Justin tried to find the corner. He's got Garrett in support. Everyone from Renault Vitality started to press forward. They want to lock down NRG here. But NRG slowing the pace down significantly. It means that it's going to help their overall boost game. Played up. Backboard might be available. Turbo Pulsar, though, unchallenged on his way out. There is a demo. Scrub Killer misses the boost. Means his angle is pretty poor here. Turbo Pulsar with a setup. Very peak required. Two players used. Scrub Killer needs a block. Gets just enough. Now Scrub up. He ends up leaving it. It's Kato. It could oh! be 1 1. It was not going in anyway. And there was a few questions about this. Kadop was missing a few opportunities against Dignitas earlier on, but now we transition. Turbo ends up leaving it. More it's going to be Justin to take it by the dash. No! Scrub Killer is equal. Up again, Turbo Pulsar. He's unrelenting at this moment, and he's absolutely unstoppable. Turbo on the hunt for yet another hat trick. Already two. We're not even halfway through this game. He hits it with the underside of his car, the changeup around the defender, and NRG come out swinging. Corner. And that puts Vitality back in it. And we saw Vitality. Oh, no way. We saw them talk about their zero second goal against G2 that swung the momentum. Now they're in a similar position against NRG. Rare Vitality. One of the scrappiest teams out there. They can play such clean Rocket League, but they're happy to trade if need be. Gonna bounce up, a lovely challenge from Justin, and that's gonna be an important thing throughout this series. Renault Vitality, they've got one's players on their team, people that have just rock solid challenges. Renault Vitality have to be equal because if one of those goes wrong, it leaves space open. And Justin will abuse you with that space. We've also seen Garrett and Turbo with incredible plays, Justin, Justin on the breakaway! Justin with the secure! Just like that! We talked about
what the challenge is. Well, Justin, he does not care less. And it can't be underestimated how important that goal is. That will give them the padding to avoid a G2 situation, but they still have to hold on. There could be something magical for Vitality if they put one in quickly. There's something about RCS World Championship Finals. There's Turbo Pulse's hat trick. And he puts it away. Turbo with yet another hat trick. And this is the start that you hope for if you're NRG. Vitality come off a seven game thriller, an instant classic. And you have to wonder, is that momentum going to carry through for Vitality? Or are they emotionally spent? Well, NRG, they weren't intimidated. They come out in game one and cruise to victory. Gonna drop straight down. Justin will see that ball away. NRG secure game one. And what a showing it was. Turbo Pulsar picks up another hat trick. He has overtaken Kadok for the most hat tricks in RLCS history. Off the backboard, cleared by Kadok. Now we move to the other side. Fairy Peak straight onto net, forces Justin to save. Well defended by Justin. Fairy Peak, another strong shot. But Justin in the back. Achieves talks about it all the time. Underappreciated defense. Justin's mechanics, he's a lot like Chassette. A player who is in such control of their car, it's so difficult to get the ball around them. And Justin stopped right there, just a testament to his ability. Barry again goes for the air dribble. Limited success so far. Scrub Killer's turn to go for it. Off the backboard! Kadop with the goal! And you wanted a meaningful goal, Shogun. Well, Kadop serves it up. Scrub getting that pass off the backboard. Garrett too slow, and Kadop punches that one in. Vitality are here to play. And now NRG rally for their last chance. Over the top. Garrett G, he wants to pass that out. There's nobody there to pass to. Turbo's got to go for a top, top angle. He cannot get there in time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a series. Vitality getting one back. Just a one to nothing game. It can't get closer than that. That is just unstoppable. It's going to be Scrub immediately on this play. Manages to take out Justin. Garrett to the side. Both teams with one win to their name. And now, Reno Vitality have got a goal to their name. You alluded to Vitality's kickoff prowess. And they put it on display here. Kadop just eight seconds in. That with a drill. NRG have just been caught. 2 0 down to start this game. That's a scary problem for them because they've automatically got to start taking more risks. Garrett up to the wall. He has got a bit of support, but far too heavy. Drilled long yet again. Big, big problem against taking on Renault Vitality is just how strong they hit the ball from defense. Can blast it from their side of the field onto your backboard. That is so difficult to position aggressively against. And not only do they get those booming hits, Shogun, they put it in a spot that's difficult, Whoa! but Garrett from the corner getting out his protractor. How is this angle possible? He is desperate for this world championship. Eight seasons. Garrett G has been to the world championship and he has been forced to watch everybody. He's the only one that can hit incredible angles. Turbo for Justin. Managed to get over the top of Kadok. This is the first start part done. But there's the second part. It's always the fact that that first player is going to be trying to challenge. Tries to scuff it across the face of the net. Very big actually committed. This is a chance. Garrett for Turbo. Turbo, Turbo couldn't reach it. Turbo missed the shot. Kadok was streaking across. Now Justin left alone. But Turbo had a chance. He thought Kadok, however, was going to get in front of it. And it just threw him off. In front of net, there's a third Vitality player, he committed, very big, off the backboard! And on March to Devo, Kadok to Scrub Killer, an incredible save! And oh! the yes, Justin keeps it out! Two goal lead still! If NRG somehow managed to claw their way back, you will point back at that save from Justin is the moment that that comeback started. That's going to be cross-pressing that end. Unfortunately, the long run, it ends up not mattering. 
Three goal leads for Renault Vitality with a minute and 15 left. That should be enough. The deflection kicked the ball out into the middle in Fairy Peak. Again, his shooting a step above the rest as Vitality gets that insurance goal. And it seemed like NRG might be able to wiggle their way back in, but with that, Vitality start to put their foot down. The reigning world champions proving why they are such. Turbo looks for a buff. Justin on his way in. Has to score this. And it's gone off the crossbar and in. NRG. You've got to wonder, is 52 seconds enough? Maybe. Just maybe. NRG can claw this game back. But that kickoff is not helping them. With so little time remaining, we often say, okay, they need this and a kickoff goal. How are they going to do that against Renault Vitality? Renault Vitality's been getting all the kickoff goals and now almost getting another one, which is pressure originating quickly after that kickoff. But NRG have to figure out an answer because they've lost so many kickoff goals. Kickoff goals are what cost them this game. Oh! But back into it, Garrett G. 23 seconds. Do you believe in miracles, Shogun? And Ferry Peak look for an option. He couldn't find it. Wanted to get Kado to clear. And Garrett G just looked for it. Hunted it out. 23 seconds. It's a good enough kickoff for them to try and work with. Just has to go long though. Gets it past Scrub Killer. Reads the angle well off the back ball for Turbo. Garrett G now already up. 12 seconds left. Garrett G for target off the back ball one more time. Turbo Pulsar leaves it for Justin. It's played long. And that's going to put so much extra pressure. Turbo for Garrett. Oh, he's Everyone in the air. From Renault Vitality leaving it. They put it to the ground. Forced to work for it. But Renault Vitality moves to 2 1. This is now turned into whose offense is better? Who can force more mistakes? NRG, though, this next game is crucial. They do not want to have to win three games in a row. This is where Turbo comes into play. Turbo was brought in to help change things for NRG. They need him now. Garrett was demoed, it leaves Kade off with plenty of time. Double demo as well, just for the only player with boost. Turbo, also beat by Therapy. Renner Vitali, the quicker team. So far in this game, another demo, Scrub Killer taking out Justin. Three demos already, four Again. demos. Scrub trying to get into the heads of NRG, multiple demos. Scrub Killer now to the wall. Not done too great with it. Now it's bounced up. That's shootable. Garrett G up. Two players gone. One player on the backboard for Renault Vitality. Turbo's taking a lot of time into the middle of the field. And it's going to be Turbo. Turbo answers the call. That slight touch. The dunk on Ferry. The control. This seems like that point in this series where one team will make the move, one team will get the momentum that's needed to carry them over the top. Garrett for the wall. Straight back over to Renault Vitality. It's a bit of pressure off them. But that's going to go to the middle for Scrub Killer. Kate off again, unchallenged. Puts the ball up high. Very big with a bump. And if the shot was any lower, that was 3 1 this series. But now Justin takes to the air. I have to say, Justin's aerial presence hasn't really had the intended results. Barry manages to force Garrett for a somewhat loose touch for Scrub Killer. Off the backboard, couple of misses. He's a low boost. That's going to be the same for everybody on NRG. That is a great player from Garrett. Forces Barry to play with his back turns. Low boost again. NRG have got to secure some side boosts. There's going to be one. Turbo's got it. It's on him. NRG's under siege right now. They need a quality clear. Garrett had to turn it. back from that midfield boost as well. They'll just be happy to be out. Any sort of mistake there was going to be it. There was going to be no way to recover. That's a huge demo oh! for Garrett! Garrett G! At the midfield, lobbing it over Scrub, the G! 
chip shot! Wow! And whilst it is Garrett's goal, again, who come back time and time again and refuse to give up. But there can be only one champion. And there was actually an adaptation on the kickoff to start us off. NRG intentionally lost it. You saw a player go to the side that allows him to pick up boost and able to play the ball almost over to Turbo. He will be able to follow scrubs by himself. Oh, He's being hurt and he can't do a thing about it. The magic of Turbo, undeniable. Justin going for the bump. Scrub still gets a hit, but Turbo denies the exit. But where is Renault Vitality's man in front of the ball? Who are they supposed to pass to? Goes up. Here's Kadok. Low boost, low option. Great turn by Garrett to prevent Kadok from centering that ball. It's scrubbed up, dropped straight down. Kadok, he's lost the challenge. They've got to go all the way, getting each other's way as well. Ball just has to hit the floor. Very peak to Kadok. Kadok over into the middle. Justin will be there. Points. The pressure couldn't be higher. Who will do it? Will Vitality stay alive? Or will NRG finally claim complete victory? Kadok for Scrub Keller. Scrub's going to try and follow. Scrub might take us the whole way. Great challenge. But I do love what NRG are doing regarding those challenges. They usually try and hold out a little bit, but they almost seem like they're leaving a player right next to him. Right down the middle! Scrub Keller out of nowhere! Vitality, they're not done just yet. Kate up with the stop scrub. Coming in with the shot. Garrett, zero boost in the tank. Goal of the game. Kate up. He is just a winner. Kate up finds a way. One of the most driven players in all of Rocket League. Here's Turbo to put it underneath. And there is a stark reminder. That could be. An adrenaline shot to the heart of NRG. A beautiful double tap from Turbo. Every player you will talk to, you ask them, what is the most difficult game to win? And the answer universally is the last, the last one. one. There's a different is. feel to it. It's it, to win it all. You're playing for months. For Garrett, he's been playing for years to get to this point. Scrub and Vitality, they just did this last season. And you can tell their confidence is coming through. Scrub Killer starting to style. He's been trying to keep it down to the basics, the fundamentals throughout this series. Gonna go long, it's on target. Justin has to try and clamor back. Another goal would definitely finish it off. Back into the midfield, Kane off for the back one. Very big, goes early, gonna pitch his way out. Who's gonna be on this? It's gonna be Scrub Killer, he misses. Kane off and Fairy Peak by themselves. It's gonna be Turbo up, ends up leaving it. And they need Justin with them as well. Garrett for the top, Justin! Justin leaves it for Garrett! What? Go! Game! Justin threatening across the middle, but he didn't even need to touch it. Garrett G had enough on the shot. You saw a free goal lead dropped. NRG are on the warpath. Garrett for Justin. Justin has to take it long. What is trying to go for Turbo? It's left for a long time. Bounces into the midfield. Garrett can't get it further than Turk. Kate up. For Turbo on his hood. Gets a good challenge. It's going to drop down to the middle. Who's there first? NRG are going to have to throw everything at one of these. Very, that's difficult for him. Off the backboard. Kane up there. Opportunity for a shot. Everyone come in. Justin has to move in. He's too far back for it, though. A positioning mistake might be the downfall, but Justin looks to go by himself for
This is going to be something special. Let's do this. Game 7. NRG against Renault Vitality. Both teams have had their moments. Both teams have looked shaky. That's an instant demo just off target. Garrett now with Justin to aim for. Great challenge. Turbo by himself. Over to the far side. Scrub Killer leaves it for KDOT. That is another great challenge from Turbo. Justin lays it off for Garrett. Over to the corner. Turbo Pulsar has said before that he despises Champions Field because it means he's in this situation. They end up leaving it. Fairy Good Peak, bounce. how could you be that calm? And Fairy Peak jumping in front of Garrett's shot as well. Garrett had a good bounce and a shot that likely would have been on target, but Vitality clogging the lanes. Double command. Kadop has to get himself up. What a touch that is. On zero boost. He's gonna try and keep following. Two players committed. Fairy Peak takes the aggressive route. Justin needs to get that to the corner. A mistouch there would have been a setup for Renault Vitality. Garrett down the line. Kadop, lovely pinch again. Kadop has been the player to get rid of the pressure, but he might have just put his team under quite a bit. Oh, that's off the Scrub ceiling. Killer for Fairy Peak. Fairy's missed it. But NRG haven't got that killer instinct right now. They don't want to put two players forward. Garrett drops it for Turbo. Backboard clear required. Fairy Peak with only Kato to aim for, and Kato didn't want to take it first time. Instead, puts it up. Garrett off the post. They're off the side wall, forces two players to be involved. Straight into the middle. It's a huge miss, but Kato and Turbo will be happy to see that one right down the middle. Follow up shot, Turbo again. And Turbo on that block had to not only get the save, but clear it past. Oh, it's going Garrett, Turbo, they both up. Leaves Justin by himself. He had to clear it past Kato, who was looking for the dunk. That first goal, that first goal so important. When will it come? Who will make the mistake? Who will step up? Is it Garrett? No. There's Justin. Every team trying to scrape away for the first goal. Turbo forcing Kato in. Justin for the second touch. He might have set this up. Kato removes the danger. One more time, Garrett steals back boost. Leaves it for Turbo. Big, booming, clear. One more time. They're trying to follow it up. Huge challenge win. Turbo Pulsar, he's got options. Couldn't quite get the setup. Now a potential counter-attacking opportunity. Fairy Peak over to Kadop. And Justin doesn't want to see any of it. Good now back Turbo. to Justin. Who's he got left? One on one. Run up. He's dropped it down, Fairy Peak, he's got a few options. Kato tries to reach it, wins the challenge one more time. One minute left on the clock. Fairy Peak tried to lay it off for Kato, he's got to try and turn for the midfield. Pops it up to the air, few that can stop him. But this time NRG could. Now Scrub Killer for the backboard. Garrett's the stand! And the shot! They're not out yet! Garrett has to reverse! A save! And now Justin, another one! NRG! They stand strong! 30 seconds now! Over to the sides! It's gonna be Ferry! Takes control! Another one attempts it! It's gonna stick it! this time. Great play to this corner. Fairy Peak. He's got past two players. Looks for a buff. Garrett G clears line. Justin! 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 NRG! Do what they could not do before! Justin! His zero second goal kept their hopes alive in London. And now an overtime goal. Fulfilled their dreams of a world championship.
That's right, Gareth. It finally happened. Four years later. Eight seasons later. Two grand finals later. It's all his. NRG have done it. Justin's dad goes up to celebrate with the team that helped take his son.